Hey everyone! Um, I just want to show you guys my new setup for my vanity. I added in some lights and I also want to do an update on my makeup collection since I just organized everything and cleaned up. So, um, hi! Just to show you guys what I have on top of my table that I have this right here where I hold um, my daily lip gloss, lipstick, or um, mascara, anything that fits into it I will put in there since, you know, it's a real space saver. And then I have my little perfume collection right here. And then my Leo Lee Cleansing Wipes. When I put makeup on, I really like to have um, wet tissues around because I use my fingers a lot. And um, to avoid mixing the colors, this is very necessary. And then my favorite baby cream. Um, my favorite um, sunscreen, Sunshine Lotion. This is one of the best Leo Lee products alongside with the Leo Lee Sleeping Pack, which I use daily. And then also the Holika Holika sleeping packs. Um, I just started trying this. This is the vitamin C renewal cream. Um, I use this every day. Hopefully, I don't know, some results will come. I hear vitamin C is really good for your skin. I probably will do a review on it after a while. <laughs> and then I have some stuff I have not opened yet, like the Dolly Wink um, eyebrow powder. And then there's my MAC um, Makeup Fix Smith. And this is the Skin Denavia Bridal Makeup Finish. They're both um, makeup setting sprays, but the MAC one you can use it to spray your brush or anything. Um, there's a lot. Of other uses for it. There's my little close up mirror. <laughs> my brushes, um, brush cleaner, um, HD makeup, um, high definition. I, I, re I did a review on this in my last video. And then inside my drawers, I have lashes. This is kind of disgusting, but um, these are the lashes I usually use. and. Uh, I have them on this side, and then there's some here that I have not used, and they come in single pack form, and some are in here. These are makeup lash boxes, uh, setting powders, These, this is for the daytime, this is a nighttime um, setting powder. Um, after I put all my um, cream and lotion on at night, I usually put a setting powder on to keep it on so it doesn't stick to my pillow if my face, it was like really, I was using a cream that has a lot of oil or something like that. And then there's my brushes. I keep the brushes I use um, daily in here. It's a hair. Um, contouring brush. Um... I use this brush a lot. This is by MAC. And just a bunch of brushes and eyeshadows. Um, all my eyeshadows are he usually he here. Um, my naked palettes, one and two here. Um, this is the Leo Ali um, eyebrow cake, which is for my eyebrows. I should be putting it somewhere over here or something. My rolling. Eyeshadow. This is really good. I use this a lot. Uh, I mainly use the brown one over here. But my um, go-to eyeshadow palette is this one. I just got a new one. Um, my brother just got me this for my birthday. I've been using the heck out of the old one, which was probably expired already. Um, my favorite color in here that I use a lot are New Beach because it's very shimmery. I don't, um, I, wait, not New Beach, um, Silk Teddy. Uh, New Beach is a little too shimmery. I don't really use, uh, use 
any other color but the silk teddy I use that for under my eyes it really brings out my bottom lashes um, so if you guys um, want to have that dolly effect you should put something really shimmery and light under your um, um, bottom lashes so that your your mascara or whatever it just you know enhances so that your bottom lashes will show and this is a Maybelline um, makeup thing it's really gross in there I got this in Asia the packaging is like totally different I guess it's a high-end brand in um, Asia for Maybelline I got this like at the mall or something then there's my Republic I uh, this is for my contouring this is um, um, a press powder but since it's really dark it's darker than my skin tone I use it for contouring um, I should probably use a lighter color since I'm so pale I also use um, the Dior one but this one is what makes my face look a little bit orange so I avoid using this but this feels really good on the face like the powder on this is really silky and then for highlighting I have the um, 3D Jewel Cheek and Highlighter I use the highlighter a lot it's um, sometimes you see you guys see my pictures why it's so <laughs> shiny it's probably because of this this is really shiny and makes it look oily I should probably use less of this I'm probably going to start using less of the shininess because it makes me look very oily around um, the, my highlight areas which is usually my nose and you can really see that in pictures and there's some brushes and there's some compacts I got when I was in Hong Kong this, I got this because it was pretty <laughs> not because it's good this is Cyber Colors compact powder I just started using it I don't know if it's really good or not not yet. I'll let you guys know. And then there's some more. Um, this, these are blushes and stuff. And here is um, Shado Mirror. It's kind of like the the early one, but gold. Smaller. It's cute, but smaller. And I put out here. These are my Rock and Republic um, eyeshadows. I don't usually use these because I find it inconvenient that I have to pick up every time and look at a color or turn it in the back to read the names of the color, so I don't use that as often. Um, this one is for your nose. It's a serum. It's kind of kind of fills in your pores. I have really big pores around my nose, and this product really helps with uh, filling in the pores so that my makeup will actually stay on my nose but lately I've been having problem with it um, I just start using actually I, I haven't used it yet I just got it today um, I brought it back from work and we do sell this um, there's really good review on it so um, ha I have high hopes for this then the Lily Lily um, oil paper pack this is really good finishing powder for anything I mean it's um, compared to the Laura Mercier, Mercier, this is much cleaner because this does get everywhere and you can see it gets everywhere. And I do have the, I also have the MAC one too. But I don't use these as, as often because it gets everywhere. And then I have some cream and primers back here. And then sponges, eyeliners, all my eyeliners are here. Um, this is supposed to be out there but I use this a lot. Um, Givenchy, uh, Amazing Super Fit um, Eyelash Glue. We had this for a while, but it's sold out. But this is like the best glue I ever used. I thought the Revlon one was really good already, but this one is even better because it lasts forever. I've been using this for like so long, and I still have it. Let's see, and then the eyebrow fix. This is supposed to um. Keep your eyebrows in place so that it doesn't rub off in case you have powder or eyeliner, I mean, or um, eyebrow, um, fill in your eyebrows. Mm, let's see, and then my lip gloss. Oh, this is really good. Um, this is Me To Me Quick Point Eraser. 
I usually sometimes mess up when I put mascara on. I always get it on my eyelids um, or I put my eyeliner a little too thick. This actually erases it. I will show you guys how it works next time. I'll do a review on it. I thought it was really convenient because when I put uh, put on uh, mascara for my bottom lashes, it always get all over my eyes. And I can just go and erase it with this. And I don't have to use a Q-tip, dip it in um, eye makeup remover or anything. It's just very convenient. And then some of my um, mascaras that I use. And that's it. So, I hope you guys like my new setup. And hopefully I can get my little laptop in here and use the lighting to do some tutorials. And like, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.